Yes, 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 what is going on? Back with another video, back with another tier list. This one, we have the SB Dunk edition. Obviously, we've got Goated at the top, then we've got Trash at the bottom. Then the letters are in between, and yeah, let's get straight into this. So, uh, the first one, I believe this, I'm not sure if this is an actual collaboration, but this is a Tiffany & Co colorway. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, this is way better than the Air Forces that we actually got this year. Yeah, the Air Forces are actually so dry and I can't believe they even released them. But yeah, this one, yeah, be beautiful. Such a good combination of the Tiffany & Co blue. And yeah, just love, uh, I love the silver tick. Obviously, Tiffany & Co is sort of known for their jewelry as well. So yeah, 30, 30 colorway. I'm not sure what the name of this one is, but when I was researching all of these shoes, it, it did come up, and I do like this shoe, I can't lie. Um, I love the way that it's got the flannel print, uh, the green and the red, yeah, yeah, very, very heavy. All right, and now we have this shoe, yeah, this is called the New York City Pigeon, I believe. Um, just because I know how everyone likes this shoe, I don't really see the buzz for this shoe, it's just, it's just a plain colorway, but I'm not, I'm not going to put it shit, but... In my opinion, I would put this B tier, but I know a lot of people do love this shoe and there is a lot of hype around the shoe. So it is going to go A tier list. I believe there was only 150 of these made as well. So pretty rare. Now we have the Stussies. Um, I think this was one of the first collaborations that Stussy did with um, with with Nike. Um, these these can go here yeah because if these wasn't a stussy collaboration these would just be like mediocre so yeah but i do like the pink and i do like the brown very cool combination you don't really see that as well so yeah i do rate them and now we have probably one of my favorite sb dunks of all time we have the parises and these are bad boy pairs of shoes the whole story behind it is crazy as well basically there's his artist i'm not sure what what his name is but he's french and i think he opened up an exhibition or something and these shoes was released with it and it's got his artwork on the actual shoe and it's said to believe that each pair of shoe is slightly different that is a very cool touch as well very original and now we have everyone's favorite, the Panda Dunks. Where am I going to put the Blood Clark Panda Dunks, yeah? Um, I would put these B tier list, and I think I will. No, no, no. I am going to put these C tier list, just for the simple fact that everyone's made them too mainstream, and these are just a done-out pair of shoes, real talk. They're sort of like the, the, the new Air Forces as well. Um, but if these wasn't, you know, as popular and ain't, you know, ran through, I'd probably put these B, B tier list. Like, it's not an ugly shoe. It's a calm colorway, black and white, very simple, you know, decent. Um, now I believe this is called the Jedi colorway. These are straight up trash. I don't know what the hell that they thought that they were doing with this shoe. But yeah, I do not like the shoe. The laces, the green laces with the green little thing, they do not match. And yeah, just very ugly. Now we have, I believe these are called What The Dunks, I believe. Um, just a quick back backlog on like why these shoes are, are, are actually called, called these shoes. Basically, they took little bits from other SB Dunks and combined them all together to make these SB Dunks. They're not really that aesthetically pleasing, but and they are a bit wacky also. But just for the simple fact that they're just basically like 100 SB Dunks put into one shoe, I do rate them. Now we've got these fluffy monstrosities, lab experiments gone wrong, Sh trash, what are you doing mate? Um, whoever thinks that these are like a cold pair of shoes, you are lying to yourself. Um, yeah, you need to go seek cancelling or something. Um, now we've got the transparent, I believe these are Commander Garçons, and these are sick, I can't lie. And for the simple fact that they did a collaboration with a designer, automatically makes them a tier list yeah and the transparency just gives it a bit more you know a bit more oomph to them and yeah so so um we have the supreme cements i believe I, I think this was one of the first uh collaborations that supreme did with nike do i put these goated uh yeah i can't lie one one of the first collaborations that they actually did with nike and yeah a goated shoe very very stylish you know isn't too loud and very wearable it has to go goated um now we've got the off whites and these are not goated these are not even a tier these are fine yeah these are not shit but these are not anything spectacular i do like the creativity with the lace thing going on but 
I don't like them. I really don't like them. I think they, I think that um, they could have done a better collaboration with Off White. You know, because Off White is a certain like brand as well, and you know, we have seen better shoes come out of the Off White and Nike collaborations. And yeah, this shoe isn't one of them shoes. Now we have this colorway. I love. I actually love this colorway. I'm, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call this the Goku colorway. Um, B tier list. It's nothing, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing like top tier, but it's not shit. So this is B tier list. Very calm shoe though. And, you know, I do rate it. Um, now we have the For Love of Money. And these are one of my favorite SB Dunks. It's just got money all over it. I love the brown that they chose for it as well. And it's the SB Dunk High, which, you know, is okay, I suppose. And yeah, certy shoe. I believe these ones are called the Valentines and I really like this colorway. I like the red with the pink. They both, you know, match very well. Do I put these A tier lists? No, because I wouldn't buy the, yeah, because I wouldn't actually buy these, this pair of shoe, but I do like them. So yeah, these are, these, these are fine. Now we've got the Lobsters, another, another B tier list shoe in my opinion. You know, very calm, but nothing really out there. You know, fine. And now, oh my days, these are like a god pair of shoes, yeah. Um, these are probably the best SB Dunks that never got released. Um, basically, these are called the Freddy Kruegers, I believe. And I think the the actual team behind Freddy Krueger or whatever copyrighted Nike for actually releasing these. And yeah, they never got released. And what I like about them is obviously you've got the Freddy Krueger stripes. And then you and then you got like the blood splatters. Because obviously Freddy Krueger is like a sort of horror movie. And yeah, very, very nice. Now we got the 2023 Supreme SB Dunks, and ah, oh, it's a bit early to judge them, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with B tier list. I can't lie. Um, I'm not sure the artwork behind this, but yeah, very aesthetically pleasing. You know, not shit, and yeah, it's fine. These are another one I downloaded two photos by mistake. Um, yeah, very very calm shoe. Now we've got the eBay Dunks and this is such a beautiful um, collaboration with both brands and I just remembered I didn't download the Ben & Jerry's SB Dunks but with that being said they would go trash, they are straight up trash, I actually hate them shoes because yeah it's just so cheesy and childish and you know why do you want to wear them sort of shoes on your feet I would not know and yeah, I do not rate the fucking Ben & Jerry's SB Dunks. But yeah, the eBay ones, these are actually certy, yeah. Obviously, you've got them, um, you've got like a bit of it transparent. And then you've got the eBay colours. And yeah, just a cool a cool representation of both brands collaborating together. And yeah, this is certainly A tier list. Now we have uh, the Travis Scott's. And these are goaded. I don't care what anyone says. Obviously, Travis Scott's name behind it sort of devalues it, in my opinion. But if these wasn't even a Nike shoe, I would still rate rate this shoe. Obviously, you've got the Paisley print going along it. Then you have the uh, the flannel print. It sort of looks like a Burberry print as well. Burberry is my favorite brand. Uh, my, fa my favorite designer brand, sorry. And um, yeah, just a whole colorway. And yeah, certy shoe. And, e and even the laces, it's like got this strawberry rope feel laces. Certy shoe, very, very goated. And now we have the, I think, 2021 Supreme um sb dunks and i'm gonna chuck these a tier lists you know very very nice and yeah very certain shoe and that is going to be it for the tier list video i hope you did enjoy if you did agree you know please let me know and um yeah that is going to be it hope you did enjoy and i'm out